Good afternoon, my name is Angel Pineda and this is uh, webcam presentation number one for Nursing 5461, Acute and Critical Illness. We we'll begin with the HPI. This is a 52-year-old Caucasian male presenting to the emergency room status post rattlesnake bite to the right upper quadrant at approximately 1300, which is now approximately one and a half hours post the onset of injury. Patient reports moderate pain rated 6 out of 10 to the abdomen, and it's described by the patient as sharp and stingy. Past medical history includes hypertension, which was diagnosed in 1996, and diabetes, which was diagnosed in 1992. His past surgical history includes an appendectomy that was performed in 1988. His current medications are metformin 500 milligrams daily and lisinopril 10 milligrams daily. He denies any uh, drug or food allergies. His past family history includes uh, his father um, dying at the age of 72, secondary to coronary artery disease and a myocardial infarction. His mother is currently 74 years old and living with diabetes and hypothyroidism. He has two uh, adult children that are both in good health. He, his social history includes um, that, that he is married. He is a rancher by profession and lives in New Mexico. He is a non-smoker. He does uh, admit to uh, social al alcohol use, estimating four to six alcoholic beverages per month. In terms of review of systems, uh, in general, this is a Caucasian male in acute distress. He, he is interacting appropriately and responding appropriately to staff and questions. Uh, Respiratory-wise, the patient denies any shortness of breath, chest pain, or tightness. Uh, in terms of the abdomen, the patient reports pain rated 6 out of 10 to the right upper quadrant, secondary to the bite. He reports that once the snake was removed from him, he uh, began to bleed from the puncture sites. He applied direct pressure with his um, clothing until EMS arrived. Uh, neurovascularly wise, the patient denies any numbness, tingling, or difficulty moving any of his extremities. On physical exam, um, the patient neurologically is a GCS of 15, alert and oriented, with equal strength to all four extremities. Perla is intact. Respiratory wise, the patient is on room air with no respiratory distress noted, no use of accessory muscles. His lung fields are clear to auscultation. Cardiac-wise, patient, uh, patient is currently in sinus rhythm, according to the monitor, uh, and S1 in S2 are audible. Patient's abdomen, there are uh, two puncture sites to the right upper quadrant. That is erythemic and swelling, uh, noted approximately four um, inches around the puncture sites. The puncture sites themselves are um, draining serosanguineous um, fluid. They have been cleansed with normal saline and have been left open to air. Um, bowel sounds are present. The abdomen otherwise is soft and non-tender. The area around the snake bite is tender to palpation. Assessment, the patient is a 52-year-old male with acute uh, venomous poisoning secondary to a rattlesnake bite. Our plan for him is to obtain uh, serial CBCs, BMPs, coagulation panels, and urine myoglobins to trend um, for any possible rhabdo or any possible coagulopathies that may occur um, secondary to the to the venom that we would have to treat. We'd also obtain a type and screen in the event that we would have to transfuse and treat any coagulopathies. We would update his tetanus. We also want to administer CROFAB according to the guidelines, which in this case indicate that he would receive two vials of uh, the CROFAB uh, at 6, 12, and 18 hours in the event that the patient were to develop um, further extension or progression of um, of the venomous poisoning, if we were to note more spreading of the erythemia or um, any additional changes, um, the patient may be administered additional doses of the CROFAB. We would also administer um, uh, NS to maintain the patient hydrated. We plan to admit the patient to the ICU and obtain a CT of the abdomen to evaluate and make sure that there's no um, injury to any of the organs as well as possible any kind of ischemic injury secondary to the um, venomous poisoning. We will also um, get toxicology on board to follow the patient um, while he's in the ICU to um, continue to give us guidelines on the administration of the CROFAB. Thank you.